In the heart of China, a 180 meter dam is rising without a single human hand on site. No workers, no architects, just AI, robots, and 3D printers working in perfect sync. This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now. China's fully automated construction revolution could reshape how the world builds everything, from dams to cities. Subscribe now, because only at the end will you learn what this dam really means for jobs, for power, and the future of humanity. How was it built? The AI construction system. The Yangchu Dam in China isn't just a feat of engineering. It's a blueprint for autonomous megastructure construction. Built entirely without human hands, this 180-meter-tall dam relies on an AI-powered command system that coordinates fleets of robots, heavy machinery, and 3D printing technologies. The process starts with an intelligent scheduling algorithm, which breaks down the entire project into thousands of micro-tasks. These tasks are then assigned in real time to a network of autonomous bulldozers, excavators, rollers, and robotic cranes. Each machine is guided by GPS, sensors, and drone surveillance, allowing centimeter-level precision without human drivers. At the core is an AI control hub that learns as it builds. It analyzes terrain conditions, weather patterns, and material behavior to make live adjustments. If one machine malfunctions, others are immediately rerouted to cover the task. The result? Zero delays, 24-7 progress, and seamless operation. One of the most groundbreaking elements is the use of 3D printing with earth materials. Instead of casting concrete traditionally, robotic arms deposit and compact soil in ultra-thin layers, printing the dam like layered cake, but at mega-structure scale. This method drastically reduces material waste and accelerates structural buildup. Drones continuously scan the site, feeding real-time visuals to the AI system. Machine vision algorithms verify alignment, density, and strength parameters, replacing human supervisors and quality controllers entirely. The system also includes predictive maintenance. Every robot and sensor communicates data to the central hub, which forecasts component wear and schedules repairs before breakdowns occur. What's most astonishing is the speed. This fully automated construction process is expected to finish faster than conventional dam projects by a significant margin. And with fewer cost overruns, zero labor injuries, and consistently higher structural accuracy. This isn't just a one-off experiment. It's part of China's larger smart construction initiative, aiming to revolutionize infrastructure with machine-only workflows. If it works here, it could soon scale to bridges, tunnels, highways, or even entire smart cities with no human crews needed. Why China is leading the AI construction race. China isn't just building a dam with robots, it's redefining the global construction industry. The fully automated Yangchu Dam is not an isolated stunt. It's part of a strategic natural push to dominate the next era of infrastructure. AI-driven, unmanned, and massively scalable. So why is China in the lead? First, the country has no shortage of mega-projects. From rail networks to smart cities to energy hubs, China builds at a scale and pace unmatched by any other nation. Automation isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. Labor costs are rising and traditional manpower can't keep up with the volume or speed required. Second, China has centralized coordination between governments research institutions, and private tech companies. Projects like the dam are possible because AI developers, robotics engineers, and infrastructure planners operate under a unified national vision, unlike in fragmented systems elsewhere. China also boasts the world's largest industrial robot market. Domestic tech giants like SANY, XCMG, and Huawei are rapidly advancing machine learning, edge computing, and 5G-based control systems all of which are essential for real-time AI-coordinated construction. Then there's the political angle. By showcasing high-profile automated builds, China sends a message to the world. We don't just talk about the future, we build it faster and smarter. The dam project is part of the Made in China 2025 initiative, aimed at turning the country into a global tech leader across strategic sectors. 
Furthermore, China sees AI construction as a way to secure resource control. Dams, pipelines, and ports built by machines in remote or hostile environments give the country an edge in energy independence and geopolitical reach, without putting human workers at risk. And finally, there's data. Every automated build generates terabytes of construction telemetry, stress data, material behavior, efficiency logs. This data feeds back into machine learning models, making each future build faster and more precise creating a powerful feedback loop that other nations are only beginning to understand. In short, China isn't just leading because of what it builds, but how it learns from what it builds. What could go wrong? The risks behind the machines. A 180 meter dam built entirely by robots sounds like progress. But with every technological leap comes a set of hidden risks. The construction of megastructures without human oversight raises serious questions about safety, control, accountability, and long-term resilience. Let's start with the most obvious, system failure. AI and robotic systems depend on code, sensors, GPS, and data accuracy. A single glitch, a faulty reading, corrupted signal, or misaligned 3D printer path could lead to structural defects not discovered until years later. In a structure meant to hold back millions of tons of water, even a small error could become catastrophic. Then there's cybersecurity. The more connected a construction site is, the more vulnerable it becomes. Hackers could potentially override systems, halt operations, or worse, sabotage critical infrastructure remotely. With no humans present to detect or respond quickly, recovery from a cyber attack could be dangerously slow. Another concern is algorithmic bias and black box decision making. AI systems make thousands of micro decisions during construction, but they don't explain why. If a decision leads to a safety risk or structural flaw, it's unclear who's responsible. The software developer, the project owner, the government? The legal framework for this is murky at best. There's also the loss of human expertise. With robots doing the building, we risk losing generational knowledge in architecture, civil engineering, and construction safety. If a system fails and there's no skilled human crew to take over, we could face unrecoverable errors. Environmentally, while AI-led builds promise reduced waste, there's concern that the speed and scale of such projects could encourage overbuilding, land misuse, and unchecked ecological disruption especially in remote or politically sensitive areas. And finally, ethical questions emerge. Are we designing machines that outpace our ability to regulate them? Are we replacing people for efficiency or just sidelining them for profit? And most importantly, what happens when machines start making infrastructure designs that affect millions of lives? The Yangchu Dam might be the first, but it won't be the last. The question isn't whether we can build without humans, it's whether we should. The Blueprint of a Post-Human Construction Era The Yangchu Dam isn't just a structure, it's a signal. A signal that we've entered a new age where machines build without us. The precision is breathtaking, the speed is unmatched, the implications? Massive. This isn't just about concrete and algorithms, it's about control, trust, and what role we humans play in the world we're rapidly automating. Whether it's a dam, a city, or a nation's future, we're handing the tools over to machines. The question isn't if it will happen everywhere. The question is, will we still have a say? Will machines replace us? The age of machine-built megastructures has begun. But what if this isn't just about efficiency? What if it's about replacement? Would you trust your home, your power grid, your future to a system with no human touch? Comment below what scares or excites you most. And don't forget to subscribe because next time we reveal how entire neighborhoods may be 3D printed without a single human architect involved. This isn't the future. It's already under construction.